Okay, so on to question eight. The molecules CH4 and CH3Cl have tetrahedral shapes. Why is one nonpolar and the other polar? Okay, so let's write down both structures. So like the question mentioned, they both have tetrahedral shapes. But because chlorine is more electronegative and the hydrogens aren't electronegative enough to balance out that dipole moment, this makes uh this makes the molecule polar. And then this one is nonpolar. Okay, so one, fluorine is more electronegative and its dipole moment is not canceled. And even there's a second point here where I'll mention that carbon and hydrogen also have similar uh, electronegative values. So because of this, uh, since hydrogen isn't as electronegative, like there, there is no dipole moment. So I'm just going to write at the top, no dipole moment. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Polarity of a molecule can be obtained from the electronegative difference between the atoms. If the electronegative difference between the elements is in the range 0 0.4 to 1.8, then it would be a polar covalent bond. The electronegative difference uh, between the elements is less than 0 0.4, bond would be nonpolar covalent. CH4 is nonpolar because the polarity of every bond gets cancelled out due to the symmetry as seen in the Lewis structure. Yep, so you can see that this molecule is entirely symmetrical. CH3Cl is polar because it has three carbon hydrogen bonds at tetrahedral angles. But the carbon chlorine bond, which is more polar, occupies the fourth apex of the tetrahedron and it is not cancelled out. Yep, so the solution is correct. Great explanation. <laughs>